Hi everyone. Today we will use Power Query to solve a complicated problem with traditional Excel. But with Power Query, it can be done quite easily actually. In our case here, in this cell, we have three items input into a single cell, separated by live feeds. Actually, similar situation happened across the whole column. And the challenge is, of course, to separate them into different rows like that, one record per row. Also, I will talk about when we are dealing with two columns like this. And of course, I want to separate it into two different columns with one record per row like that. It looks really complicated with traditional Excel, but with Power Query, it's just a few more steps and we can achieve it very easily. So let's watch it. First, let's select the range of data, then go to the data tab. Here, from table and range, click on it. Make sure that it covers the whole range of data. And because my data has the header, so I will check this box. My table has headers. Then click OK. Now the data is loaded into the Power Query Editor. We can see six rows of data. Some cells, we have multiple items input into a single cell, separated by live feeds. And this is what we want to convert them into a separate rows of records. So we are going to the Home tab and then split column by delimiter. We can see that Power Query actually detects the live feed is the delimiter. So we just keep it there, split at each occurrence of the delimiter. And I want to split them into rows instead of columns. So check rows here. So make sure the box split using special character is checked here. OK, watch it. See? All the items are split into separate rows instantly almost. So easy. Now we can close and load it to the, our spreadsheet. Select close and load to it. I can select where to load the data, the result. I can load it to the existing worksheet or I can load it to a new worksheet. Let's do it here. Okay. See, now we have all the items separated into separate rows. As simple as this. Okay, now let's see how we can do it when we deal with two columns. Anyway, we need to select the range and put them into the Power Query Editor. Go to Data tab, from Table Range, OK. You may wonder, we can select both columns and then select the split column by lim delimiter. However, it didn't work. I cannot click on that. When I have single columns selected, I can click on split column, but not when I have multiple items or columns selected, because this item called split column, it is not split columns. So I have to do it one by one, but I need to reference this queries into two separate queries first. Now we name it, the first one should be called column A, for example. And this, I rename it to column B. So I will do the transformation one column per one query. So in this column A, I'm going to deal with the column item only. So I am going to remove the other column. Now I split the column by delimiter into rows. It is done. 
One important step here is to add an index column. Just click on this. Now I have a sequential number of index column from 0 to 18. This is important to merge the two queries together later. In this query, column B, I will do it on the column failed. Right click on it, remove other columns. Then go to the home tab, switch column by delimiter into rows. Okay. Again, I need the index column. Click on the index column under add column. Now I have another index column. We can see that in column A, we have the item index column. In column B, we have the value and the index column. So we are ready to merge them together and put them into a one single table. Let's watch it. I want to merge column A with column B by using the common index column. So I select both and I select the left outer joint as the joint type, which is the default. Okay. The result is a column called column B. Click on this icon to see the value I can have. I want the value only. Okay. Like we look up, we are done. I don't need the index column anymore. Right click and remove it. Now I have the corresponding value with the corresponding item separated into separate rows. Isn't it cool? Now we can load it to the spreadsheet, code and load. And it is loaded into a new worksheet. We can see it all the records are separated into separate columns and rows correctly. And the good thing about Power Query is when we have set it wise, we can reuse the Power Query steps. When we have new data, we don't have to repeat everything. For example, here, if I have a new record of XXX and with the corresponding value of one, two, three, four. We don't have to repeat all the transformation steps. What we need to do is just to go back to our output table from the Power Query and then right click and click Refresh. See, 